going to be showing you guys how to do the law of signs using a word problem. So the word problem is a person is standing at point A, which this is point A, notices that the angle of elevation to the top of the antenna is 47 degrees. A second person standing 33 feet away, farther than the antenna, then the person at A finds the angle of elevation at the top of the antenna to be 42. How far is a person at a from the base of the antenna. So what the question is asking is how far apart does the first person, person A, is far from the antenna. So what we have given is that first, the second person to person A is 33 feet and the angle of elevation, which is the angle that he's looking up towards the antenna, is 42. And angle A, the person that is looking up at the elevation, is 47. So over here is the same picture. But we're going to start using the, this whole, okay, so this whole line has to equal to 180. So 42 plus 133 plus 47 equals 180. So then now that we found the second angle, since we have 42 and 133, we add those together and then we subtract it by 180 to get the third angle. So then we turned it into, this one is considered a small triangle. So we labeled it so it has, a, a, has an angle A, B and angle C along with the side A, side B, and side C. So since we already know that side B is 33 and we know all the angles inside, we have to find side A. So by doing that, we're going to do the law of signs. So we're going to work with what we're given and what we have. So that means that 33 feet, which is B, over sine of 5, which is angle B, is equal to A over sine of 42, which is angle A. Then from there, we, we, the, what we're looking for is A. So we have to put these two equations together. So it's going to be 33 feet over sine of 5 times sine of 42. So then when we put that into a calculator, we get that A equals 253, which means that side A from here to the top of the antenna is 253 feet. So from there, we have to find what the question is asking for from point A, which is the second which is the first person to the antenna. So from there, we're going to do cosine of 47 degrees, which cosine is, um, is, um, yeah. So <laughs> cosine of 47, which is, then we're going to do, it's um, adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent here, which we don't know the answer yet, would be x. And then the hypotenuse, what we just figured out, is 253. So then we need to find x and have it by itself. So we're going to multiply 253 times 253 on both sides. So then it's going to equal to x equals 253 times cosine of 47. And when we put that into the calculator, we get that one x equals 173 feet. So the correct answer you would write, since it's a word problem, it would be person A is 173 feet away from the base of that tent. That's it. So now I'm going to talk about some common errors that can happen. And the first one is with setting up the problem. Since there's two triangles, a lot of people get confused. So it's important to make sure you read the problem carefully and know that there is two triangles. There's a large one, and then there's a smaller one within the large one. And then a second one would be that um, setting up, making sure that you have two corresponding angles, and two corresponding angles in a side. And then another thing would be to make sure that this whole line and the angles add up to 180 because if you add them up wrong, then it's totally wrong. And then the second, I mean the next one, would be that you have to remember what cosine and sine are because if you put the sine of this, which would be opposite over hypotenuse, you would end up finding the height of the antenna, which wouldn't be right. So then for cosine, we pick cosine because it's adjacent over hypotenuse and that's the perfect way to find it. And another one would just be like to make sure that you have, you multiply these to get the whatever value you're looking for alone on one side. 